Well, there's like a lighter there. I don't know what it is. It's probably some sort of car, but it's like. Oh, yeah, some car. Oh, it's car leaving their property or coming into it. I don't know, but I was going to say it's raining. I don't, but you can't, you can't really see the rain from here. But it's actually quite cold. Let's open this window. Oh. See, that's that's all the rain. It's like got mud. It's muddy. The rain's definitely pouring down a little bit. Yeah, so I get to have a conversation where it's like, oh, are you sure you want me to look after the dog here? Because something might happen and maybe it'll be like a tornado and I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> Just going on survival skills and most of them will be like freaking out that I'm all alone. <laughs> are you sure you, you, sure you want to leave the dog here? And I'll be like, there won't be any tornadoes. There won't be any volcanic eruptions and I'm like I don't know it's a pretty it's a pretty risky area so I don't know there just has to be one thing and I'm like I'm like scream I'll, I'll be screaming I'm like oh I don't know what to do you know I bought myself two umbrellas one of which is probably not going to get to me because it was sent to the wrong address um and the other one of which is could be it could be in the um post post box. I couldn't be bothered going outside to actually get it. So, <laughs> but I'll definitely want it if there's any tornadoes, because that's one thing that's sort of half windproof. But I would just hope that there's no tornadoes. But I was I was being kind of nervous about it the other day, and I'm like, maybe I should say, maybe I should check, you know, if they're comfortable me looking after the dog here. Cause like I might I might prefer to go to go to the city and do other stuff <laughs> than stay here with the dog. Um, I don't know. I mean, something just has to go wrong, and I'll be screaming. I'll be like, "Oh, I don't know what to do," and I'm all alone. So I I'm usually I usually got a pretty good mind. I mean, if there's a volcanic eruption, I've got fling proof clothing and I know to turn most taps on to get water running to cool down that lava um and I'll have to probably pay the 180 for more water if I do do that because it's like already we've been running down out of water lately but um <laughs> I don't know I'm, I'm sort of scared because I know that this is a country place and it kind of sucks in that way. There's unpredictable weather surges sometimes and you probably you can turn around and find yourself facing some weather which this house isn't proofed for. I mean, look at this. I mean, what do you think a tornado will do to this single pane of glass? Oh, you broke it. What do you think a tornado will do to wood? turn it into splinters you know? so tornadoes are scary volcanoes are scary oh I won't I don't know so I was freaking myself out the other day but when you realize we've been lounging here for like months like seven months now and nothing has happened and if, if it's the same as how it's been no problem. I mean, I can look after a dog and just feed it a couple times a day. I can even walk down to the store and get it some food if it runs out. But if something bad happens, I'll be like, I'll be like, oh, I can't stay here anymore. Something bad has happened. So, you know. <laughs> um, sometimes I've stayed in this kind of place with a relative and we've been able to face things together, but I'll be on my own. Um, like, I don't know, I could get into trouble or something. <laughs> the dog could, the, the dog could die. 
Uh, then I'll be like, oh, he, want, he, he wants me to look after the dog now. <laughs> like, no one. So, I don't know. I, I was a little nervous about it last week. And this week I haven't been so nervous for some reason. Um, but yeah, something just has to go wrong and I'll be like, you know, the world has, the world has changed for the worse. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, that's what, that's what I think. The world could change for the worst. It could even change before anyone leaves and goes vacation in the city and yeah, but I'm not I'm I'm not always confident and so I'll probably be blurred out like, Are you sure you want me to look after the dog while you're gone? Because what if like some weird weather happens and we get a tornado or something? <laughs> and if they go, Oh there there won't be a tornado, don't be ridiculous I'll be like, mm, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Hmm, I don't want there to be a tornado. I was looking at um, housing today, just in case they've got something cheap. They've got something cheaper than when I looked last time, but I haven't looked at the statewide listings. I haven't looked at specific areas where I might want to live. Um, so I found a cheap-ish kind of townhouse. <laughs> And there's a cheap-ish kind of house for like 300000 but that's not the cheaper. I'm looking more like 180, 150. There's nothing in that price range. Everything's like 300000 or over, so unless, but there's a $200,000 apartment still there. Um, I don't know if I want an apartment though. I usually meet some really weird people who say, oh, you don't want an apartment. <laughs> I was like, why not? It's because it falls down. <laughs> You're like, oh, well, it sure won't fall down now. And it's like, yes, it will. It'll wave, apartments always fall down. <laughs> On the Gold Coast, rampant of breakages and tornadoes and cyclones. and you, you do see things fall down and then they're fixed right up by insurance. So... Yep, I, I do believe buildings like apartments fall down. Yes, sir. So I'm trying my best for a house, but expensive. And I don't have big enough deposit. I need to like live for free for another year yet. I'm trying to get myself another job. It's not really working. Because I could use like double the income that I'm earning. And I'm like, okay, well now I've now I've, now I've ramped up the the stakes. <laughs> um, I was almost fried a couple of days ago, but today I managed to get through my work, and yesterday I got through my work, so I um <clears throat> seem to have been forgiven and given another shot. Um, I also went crazy and applied for a lot of jobs, which you know I may or may not be interviewed for, so. Um, <laughs> in fact, I should have applied for more jobs today. I keep forgetting I want to apply for, like, to be an elf, um, at a Christmas thing and all this other stuff, so, um, I only do, like, half the stuff that I'm supposed to do during the day, and I don't, don't even work hunt for all day yet. Like, I only have one job, I don't have two. I could use another job. I could use another job more pay <clears throat> but um I don't know 